Yo, it's Death for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? You had a relationship with BMF, bro. But like, can you give us a story, like, on how that relationship even started? Uh, I've, been, I've been fucking with like, the mob. did you meet first? Um, shit, the first person I met in BMF would have been Big Cuz. Big Cuz, my nigga. This was back in shit. I, probably like 03. 03, when I first got next to the mob, we was in um Miami, Memorial Weekend. And, um... And, you know, this is at the time when the hyphy movement, you feel me, it's early in the hyphy movement. We just had the hyphy movement started in the Bay Area, and we had a, a DVD called Trio Television. So Trio TV was out and cracking at the time and on the West Coast, and BMF was pushing their movement on the East Coast. Now, Big Cuz from L.A., though, he's from the L.A. district, and um, we was, we was, it was uh, uh, Memorial Weekend. I was on Washington. Uh, BMF had the club Crowbar on lock. Meach was doing parties over there, so I was sliding by there in the middle of the night, and they called my name like, Diggs, Diggs. So I look over, it's like 20, 30 niggas with all black BMF shirts on. And I you know, I slide over. A matter of fact, I was sliding through on a moped, you know what I mean, doing the, doing the whole Miami Beach thing, me and my niggas. And we bust a U-turn and pull over. They're like, oh, Diggs, we fuck with you, my nigga. We up on the trio television, you woo, you Mac Dre, the whole Mac Dre movement and all the shit. It's the mob. So at the time, you know, I had already been hearing about BMF and all this shit, but I wasn't really tapped into the whole movement. But so the first thing he said was, man, the boss want to meet you for sure, man. You got to come by the house. So they invited me to the house. They invited me to the house that night, bro. We, I pulled up to Meach Mansion that night. Matter of fact, that night, me, 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 Meach and Suge all met for the first time that night. It was the first time me and Meach met. Suge night? Yeah, first time me and Suge night met. First time Meach and Suge met. So me, Meach, and Suge all met at Meach's house. We had us a little meeting that night. I fucked with the whole mob, and then we tapped in, bro. From that time on, bro, it was just it was just love. We all we got we got a cool little understanding. Start fucking with it, and like I say, me and Blue got tight because we did music. I, matter of fact, I started. I stayed. I was down there for the weekend and ended up staying for like a month. I was at Meach's house every day for like a month. I got a I got an album called California Living Two, which was the album that put me on in the music game with me. I did that album at Meach's house where most of it was done at Meach's house. I got a song called Really Not a Rapper. That was the first song that niggas really start taking me serious in this game. And it was done by uh, s Dog, a, a BMF producer. He used to do uh, GZ shit back in the day, all the shit. But, yeah, so that's that's how our relationship started, bro. And that's, like I say, in 03 it started. But then, like, in 06 was when we went on the tour. On the, that's when that's when uh, we went on the whole BMF tour and shit across the country. This when Blue was looking for GZ on GZ head about some other shit. It's all type of shit, boys. <laughs> it was one of them times, though. But yeah, because yeah, I think, I, hey, look, I, matter of fact, bro, I got it. Look, I think I, I heard you say on a shout out UOD, you had said, but you didn't get into it. But you were saying y'all ran down on Jeezy and he, she, he got about it up. Yeah, so this was this was in Miami, actually. Um, So so we was already, you know, Blue, Blue was already um, chasing Jeezy down. Because at the time, Blue had a song with Jeezy and he had a song with Fabulous. Um, and he was trying to, he was, um, he had a deal with Koch and he was trying to get a release for the song for the radio. Um, so Jeezy was on tour too, you know, Jeezy was doing his thing. So Blue was trying to get the release for the song and the video. And at the same time, he was trying to tap into him with him about some shit with me. So we had been calling the nigga, trying to meet with the nigga, trying to get to the nigga. And he, he kept, uh, kept shaking Blue for some, whatever reason it might have been back at the time. And then, uh, then we get a call. We was on the bus. We get a call on the bus. Um, that uh, and Jeezy called Blue one night. He's like, "Bro, that's fucked up, man. You know, the niggas just just took my chain inside the club. He was up in Magic City or one of the clubs in Atlanta. Jeezy called Blue in the middle of the night. We we sitting on the bus and he mad because some of the, some of the mob niggas had got on him, and and ripped one of his chains off his neck. You know, so." So that's the first time him and Blue end up getting up talking. So Blue like, man, we need to chop it up face to face. So he was, Meech was like, you know, and G, I mean, uh, Jeezy was like, he was going to be in Miami that weekend. So we was headed there too on the tour. So it was set up to meet in Miami. It was set up to meet in the Miami for the, uh, to holler. So when we got to Miami, we was on a uh, ocean. So Jeezy had his whole team with him and Blue had, Blue had the mob with him too. It's crazy because Blue had a twin. They they both had twins that they fuck with. They brothers. And one 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 ran with Jeezy and one ran with Blue. So the twins is my nigga too. So uh so when we finally got there, they 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 get a chance to talk. So Blue, me and Blue standing with with uh with uh Jeezy and the other twin while while Blue and Jeezy talking. 
So some fans was walking by. It's hella niggas though. So some fans was walking by and they was like, uh, oh, that's Jeezy. And they just wanted to get an autograph with Jeezy. Oh, Jeezy, can I get an autograph? But you know, he was taking care of some real nigga shit. So uh, the, the niggas was like, man, nah, he's not talking right now. He's not doing no autographs right now. So one of the fans screamed out, man, oh, man, fuck you there. And it got stole on. So when he gets stole on, it went up from right there. Like it was, you know, he was some street niggas anyway. But it went up from right there. So instead of instead of the uh, Blue and Jeezy getting to finish having to talk, it turned into a melee on the beach. Shots Damn. fired. <laughs> shots fired, all type of shit. And uh, matter of fact, Jeezy went to jail that night. Jeezy went to jail, him, his limo driver, and all the shit. Because one of uh, my nigga Big Cuz <laughs> jumped in the limo with Jeezy. And they was like, uh, was shots fired on the beach and all the shit. So they ended up pulling over his limo and, and, and some more motherfuckers. It was a wild night, though. So they didn't even really get to finish all the shit. But it was, yeah, it was getting thick, though. It was at a time when, 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 um, when, when the mob when was, was on some other shit with Jeezy. They wasn't really feeling how Jeezy was moving at the time. So that's true, though, because, like, a lot of people, because Jeezy, you know, he got records. He be saying that it ain't true. Like, shit, them, them niggas capping. Like, they fuck with me, so. No, 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 no. Let's, let's not, let's not get it under, misunderstood. Jeezy was definitely part of the mob, my nigga. He fucked with me. He fucked with Jeezy. All the, I mean, um, he fucked with me. Blue, all of them. They, they brought him in. Blue, the one brought him in to the fact he was part of the mob, my nigga. He was with all the shit, and and and, and, and all the shit. He was, he was, he was right. Hey, bro, that's good. There was Jeezy, but, my favorite rapper, bro. <laughs> but there was, but there, there was a time when. You know, he started pulling away to go do his own thing, basically, and they felt the pull away. You know, once once he got on, once he was getting on, you know, it was he was pulling away. He went and did his own thing. You know, when that Boys in the Hood and all that shit came on, and then that CTE shit, I watched that whole shit. You feel me? All that CTE shit, that was kind of more like a, uh, they was kind of mimicking BMF. You know, they came with the all black shit. They started doing all the shit. So that was basically him starting his own mob after that. So that was that was that was just you know that I could I I from being on the inside I could see the dis dislike of, of what he had going on like niggas wasn't feeling that like it was BMF now it's CTE so that was that was a discrepancy at the time back then. Definitely. No, I got you. I got you. I know who Reggie Wright is. I don't know who Greg is. I know who Reggie Wright is. Red, Red fuck with my nigga. Shit, he the one who said all that bullshit too. That nigga's a weirdo. He definitely police. Son. But he, no, uh, for sure. Hey, so look, sure, I gotta, I gotta get ready, to get off this thing, bro. I'm in the middle of the, uh, yeah, no, sure, the bro. freeway. Too. I appreciate y'all having me on, man. I appreciate the love and support. We, we, we gonna try to get this nigga outside for the fun of time. But, he, no, uh, for sure. Hey, so look, sure, I gotta, I gotta get ready, to get off this thing, bro. I'm in the middle of the, uh, yeah, no, sure, no, the freeway. Too. I appreciate y'all having me on, man. I appreciate the love and support. We, we, we gonna try to get this nigga outside for the fun of.